Hey guys, long time no see. I'm so excited to be back on this channel. It has been way too long, as always, but of course I'm back with a haul today. And I was living in New York City for the summer, so I kind of accumulated a lot of things because I went shopping a lot. But I'm basically going to show you some of the purchases I made this summer in the city and while I was at home. Um, some big, some small, and also I am moving into a new house this year for school, so some of this stuff is for my new bedroom, but uh, let's get right into it. Start with some clothing items. I went to Zara, LF, um, Cynthia Raleigh had a sample sale, and LF is also having their summer semi-annual big 60% off sale. So, first thing I'm going to show you is from LF, and it is just this bandeau. Last year I got one in black and I really wanted a mint one and it's really cute and it's really nice under white or black and I'm really excited to just pair this under a lot of things because I wear my black one a ton. And then the second thing I'm wearing is actually this tank top. Um, it's white and it comes up kind of high but then the side is very low and I'm wearing this bandeau that I also got from LF last year. Um, and then I also got this tank top in gray. They're great like staple items and that's why I really like them and I like the bro tank look and I also like how it comes up kind of high so that's what I got from LF. So this summer I was looking for a new pair of going out heels um, and I couldn't find any and then I stepped into the Cynthia Rally sample sale that I didn't really know what was going on and I found these puppies and these are beautiful. They are super super high though. Um, so they're kind of hard to walk in and like I don't have an issue walking in high heels but I look like an idiot in these heels. Um, so your whole foot is you know enclosed in the shoe so it makes it a little you know it's easy to walk in it's just that they're so high but I love them and they're so hot for going out it's unbelievable. And the next thing I got was from Zara and it's these pair of leather shorts and these are adorable. They are um, elastic on the top, they have a button, um, like a clasp and a zipper here and they have some pockets right on the side and these are so cute for just like tucking in like a plain white tee and some heels and going out with some jewelry. Oh my god, I love these shorts so much and I'm definitely going to be wearing them in the winter with tights and all that jazz. Now the next thing I got was from a, another sample sale and this was a free people um, sample sale at Chelsea Market and me and Chloe love free people, it's unbelievable. Um, this is the Circle of the Wind tee, I think it's Circle, Circle in the Sand, something like that and it's in the dusty blue color and I have wanted this t-shirt but it's like $60 I didn't really want to pay full price for it but it was only $20 at the sample sale so I was like... <sighs> Obviously I'm walking out with that and it was the only one there so I was like hells yeah that's coming home with me are you kidding? Tucker's chilling out next to me because it's thunderstorming outside and I love thunderstorms but he doesn't like thunderstorms. The next thing that I got was a pair of Converse and I have wanted a pair of high top Converse for a while and I decided to pick up these white ones. They have you know a little logo on the inside and I really like the red and the blue. I don't know, I think they're really cool, you know, when I'm having my hipster days, like today. Now for the last pair of shoes, I swear, last ones, and then we'll get into the exterior kind of stuff. I really needed a new pair of sneakers. I work out a ton, and I wore my Nike Freeze out to their death. They're sitting somewhere over there, and they're literally like wearing slippers now. So I was like, I need to buy a new pair of Nike Freeze, or some sort of workout training running shoe. So I decided to pick up these, ooh, lightning, hello. Um, I decided to pick up these ones and I really, really love them. I have so much trouble picking out Nikes because there's so many awesome styles and pa like color choices. Um, or tie-dye, like come on. I don't know, I think they're sick. So I've been wearing them for the past week and I love them. Okay, last thing that has to do with clothing, stuff that goes on my body is going to be jewelry and Everything I'm wearing except for one of my little necklaces is stuff that I have picked up in the city. I went to the Brooklyn Flea Market a ton of times because I love flea markets. I love one-of-a-kind things. I love, you know, digging through stuff, whatever. Um, so some of the jewelry I got was crafted and then some of it, 
Actually, no, it was all crafted. What am I talking about? Um, so I'm gonna pan in and I'll give you a closer look to what I got. One of the things that I got this summer, and don't judge me, you guys, because I absolutely love it and I think it's hysterical because I actually have a really dirty mouth. So I thought getting this necklace would have been hilarious, and it says effing genius on it. And sorry for my nails, they're disgusting. Um, all my friends think that I think I'm so smart, so I thought it'd be really funny because it's kind of a pun. Like, it describes me, but it doesn't because I'm not a genius, but I do have a really dirty mouth. So, I think it's hilarious. Um, this necklace I've had for a long time. It's also from New York City. This was handmade, and it's got a few stones here. I want this to focus. And then some triangles here, and then you lift up. There we go. And that's what the stone looks like. And then I also got the matching bracelet, which has the triangles, the stones, and a few um, turquoise beads. And I love this set so much. The necklace I got is this really long chain and then the nice green feather. Hopefully it's focused. There you go. One random thing that I got was from Starbucks, and it's this Starbucks cup. Um, and this is in the venti size, and I really love it because I love drinking a lot of water, and this makes it really fun to drink tons of water. I don't know, if you guys have trouble drinking water, get a really cool water bottle because it'll probably motivate you to drink water, and it's easy to just open and fill it and all that jazz. So now we're going to get into apartment stuff. I don't have that much, but if you guys are looking for stuff, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, this will interest you. The first thing I have is from Marshalls, and I wanted to look for more like jewelry organization because I have so much jewelry as you can see so um, I'm gonna show you one of the things that I got. So this is what I got and it's like an aluminum tin can can like I don't know organizer drawer organizer and I think it's really cool because it's very rustic I'm looking for like an anthropology bohemian kind of room whatever but um so I think this would be cute to put like some bracelets and stuff and like nail polish and I don't know random stuff and this was only $5.99 then I went to Bath and Body Works because I wanted to get a few soaps to stock up because the fall time's coming and I want some good flavors or scents not flavors you don't eat it and I just want my hands to smell really good so got some soaps autumn day because I love the autumn candle farm stand apple Heirloom Pear, Autumn Bouquet, and then Mountain Air. I really like the scent because it smells like you're backpacking. Because we all know Melissa likes to do that in her spare time. I got a an owl for, you know, the fall. It could also work in the summer. And he's sitting on a little tree branch. What I got to go with it is Autumn. Autumn is my favorite scent from the, like, fall line. Yeah, you know, stick this in the wall and my room will smell nice. <laughs> Next store I went to was Anthropology, and I've been dying to go here because I am obsessed with their home stuff. I just want to live in this store. Who does not want to live in Anthropology? Uh, you just get such good vibes when you're there. You just want to fall asleep in the beds. Alright, haul, haul time. One of the things I love from Anthropology is their bowls, and lately I've been loving to make acai bowls and I think I'm going to make a video on how to make them because I've gotten mine to taste exactly like Juice Generation if you know what that is it's in New York City so I might make a video if you guys want to know how to make an acai bowl that tastes like Juice Generation leave a comment below and I will for sure make a video but um, I wanted to get a bowl <laughs> for my acai bowls it sounds so stupid but um, their bowls are so freaking cute so I decided to get these two and they look like this. One is like a really light, light mint color and one's a turquoise color. And I think they're really adorable and the perfect size for like cereal or acai Um But yeah, and they were inexpensive. They were $5 and usually anthropology is pretty expensive. So I definitely got these two. Now those two bowls also came in a really mini size and they look like this. Um, and I thought these would be really cute for jewelry. Um, I got one in like a green and that light mint color again, and these were only um, $2.50, so I thought that was a really good deal, so the two of them were only $5, I spent $15, whoa, okay, Melissa, <laughs> let's just throw these out the window, okay, I spent $15 at Anthropology on four bowls, which I thought was like a really good deal considering they're so expensive. Okay, now on to the biggest purchase I've made this summer. Um, I wanted to, you know, get myself something nice. I just graduated college. I'm moving on. Well, I'm going to grad school first. 
but I'm moving on to the working world, so I wanted to get something that, you know, celebrated the end of school, all my hard work paid off, I, you know, moving into the working world. So I decided to splurge, and, you know, I was really thinking about getting a pair of Louboutins, but I controlled myself, and I said, no, Melissa, you're not going to wear them. So instead, I bought a handbag, and I couldn't decide what I wanted. I really wanted a Chloe bag but, or a Celine. Why did I say Chloe? I really wanted a Celine bag, not Chloe. And I just couldn't justify it. They're a little too trendy for me. And I didn't know if I'd love it forever. So I decided to go with the YSL Mini Cobbis bag. And I am in love with this bag. I got it in the black, in the mini size, or the smallest size they make. And the leather is so soft. It has two top handles and a long strap, so that's awesome because it's perfect. It zippers across, the Y comes up. If you guys want me to do a review video on this, I won't go too much into detail, but I am obsessed with this bag. I was reluctant to show it on this channel, but I thought you guys might be really interested if you guys are looking for a bag or choosing your first really big bag, because this is pretty much my like the most expensive thing I own, definitely the most expensive thing I own, and I saved up all my money I made this summer, and I splurged on it to reward myself, so I'm really happy I went with this bag, and if you guys want to know more, just comment below, and I will for sure make a video for you guys. But, alright, to wrap up this really long haul, I'm sorry, it was very long, there's a lot of stuff, I'll try to edit it as best as I can. Um, hopefully you guys are excited that I'm back. I'm excited. I, I miss YouTube so much, but it's been so hard for me to film this whole summer. So I will be back for sure. Leave some comments below. Feel free to subscribe, and I can't wait to hear from you guys. Alright, have a good end of the summer, and I will see you soon. Bye!